the following video is a recap of the Sleeping Snorlax Adventure Week and Slack Off Community Day events. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. In this video, we're going to do the Snorlax event, which of course involves finding sleeping Snorlax. We're also going to do a Deoxys EX raid, Community Day for um, Slack Off, and lastly, we're going to cover any events in between that pop up in Pokemon Go. I was able to catch as many Snorlax with the move Yawn after finding them asleep, and of course, during the event, they never could flee. Yeah, they would escape the Pokeball, but they were still easy to catch in the end. I'm on my way to my second EX raid for a Deoxys defense form. As you will see, I hope to do good in catching another one. Stay tuned, everyone. I was on my way down to do my second Deoxys defense form EX raid. It was a bit of a challenge to get there because of the construction that was going on along Pennsylvania Avenue. But in the end, I was able to make it, though barely, and I finally succeeded in catching this Deoxys, as you will see here in a few moments. I did it. I finally caught another Deoxys defense form from this EX raid. It took my second ball, but I finally succeeded. This was the result of me doing raids during the Lapras Day event, which was in the last video. If you haven't seen it, I will post the link 
to it in the description below. Hours before the Adventure Week event started, I got lucky and caught my second shiny snubble as I was on my way up to work while riding Scepter's Route 32 bus near Philadelphia University. It was great to finally get a second shiny snubble because I'm now happy I have the complete set. As I was leaving the Adventure Aquarium for the day after returning to scuba diving as a result of not being able to dive due to having my wisdom teeth pulled, I was able to get my first shiny lily, but during the event, I was not able to get a shiny Anno Riff, Geodude, Onyx, or any of the other rock and ground types that are available as shinies currently in Pokemon Go. Moments ago, I caught my first shiny lily, and this event is lit. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch another and a shiny Anorith. As you see here, I'm on location at the Eastern State Penitentiary, hoping to get another shiny, but during the, the rest of Adventure Week, I was not lucky, unfortunately. And, of course, there was also some issues with the game servers the day I recorded this portion of the video. My apologies if you see some lagging as a result of that during this video. Community day was lit. Even though I only caught five shiny slack off, I still had fun grinding for a lot of slack off candies, which was good because prior to that community day, I didn't have as many slack off candies because slack off was rare. And whenever they did spawn, it would be rare for me to catch it. We're on our way down to the Philadelphia Museum of Art to do community day. Hopefully I'll get some shinies and some good slack off to become slacking. Community day was lit. As you see here, I was able to catch only five shiny slack off. But of course, later on during the day, I tried to do a Cresselia raid with others, but we didn't have enough people to do it. But in the end, I was able to still enjoy myself and be able to have fun with my friends on Community Day.
Well, my final shiny count for June 2019 is five, and I had a blast. I also got plenty of slack off candies while grinding for these shinies, and I'm about to close this video out with saying, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!